Off-duty Metro, they, they're coming through and they threw trash in another person's yard and then they threw trash in my yard. So I, I confronted him. Mm -hmm. I was actually being really nice to him and his wife and asked him to just pick it up and go. And then he starts filming me and yelling at me. So I approached him and we got in a little tussle. It's all on video, just, don't lie because they're going to see it. It's all on video. And now it, it just got to a point where I was like, I got to play you guys out here. I don't want to prosecute or anything like that. I really just wanted to leave, but I wanted to get to the point of like us doing this. I've been trying to talk with him. I haven't had a whole lot of love. Yeah. Yeah. Just homeless and yeah. you know, and I pulled out my phone and asked him, "Is he in your bag?" No, that's, that's who we are. It's, it's like I ain't trying to turn this into like a YouTube thing, or, you know, whatever. He seems like a good guy. He's got, what's that? But well, you're about to be famous, okay. dude. Yeah. Ask them. They know who I am. He does. Mm -hmm. Up. It was at this moment he knew he fucked up. It was at this moment he knew he fucked up. It was at this moment he knew he fucked up. Do the wrong one to the Is that like a website that he uses or something? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, it is what it is. Just let him do it. But, you know, just kind of let him go. It's just been all my life. All right. All right. If you want to go back in your driveway, I'll talk yeah, to him. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. Thanks, guys. Yep. yep. It's all on video, and he already hems us up enough, and it's all on video. Yeah, it's a problem. And he shows his badge and says, I'm a cop, and everything. From there, you see him leave his driveway and go into the street and then attack Jeremiah. Yes, all on video. What are you doing? Sir. Dude. Sir. I mean, you should watch the video. He looks crazy charging at him in the middle of the street. It being on video is, yeah, it's a problem. He's got the whole thing on video. Oh boy. Jeremiah was in the street. He came over and said, put your hands behind your back. You can see his phone get tossed. I mean, I don't know why, where do you think you can go about get the rest of the people for no reason? Yeah, it's a problem. And then he comes at him and you can literally see the scuffle on camera. The whole camera like starts shaking and crap. His daughter's screaming and crying. And he said he had his knee on the back of his neck. It's all on video, and he already hems us up enough, and it's all on video. He's got the whole thing on video. Oh, boy. Jeremiah was in the street. He came over and said, put your hands behind your back. You can see his phone get tossed, and he goes. Do you talk to him about the rest of it? Who? The right guy. Talk about what? When Jeremiah came on his property first. I haven't. I, I didn't see any of you that on the video. No, we <laughs> talked to him, oh, but, like, but they weren't on his property when he did that. They were in the middle of the street, and it's on video. He, he literally attacked him. I mean, I don't know why, where do you think you can go about get the rest of the people for no reason? They weren't on his property when he did that. Yeah. They were actually, like, down where my car is, right over here. I mean, I'm going to believe that, you know, Appreciate the camera's coming in and talking to me. I'm, I'm just saying that the beginning of that, it's on video. We're going to have a problem here being who he is, too. We're going to have a problem. Come on. Top or not, it's, I mean, it's recorded. Yeah, uh, even if you didn't talk to me, it's just going to look up right now. No. Oh, I missed it again. That happened while we were... We're going to do a report for him, because he's asking oh, yeah. for it. Right. But, he, and I do believe that he's probably going to go get a warrant on him. I'm sure. 10 no, I know because it's on video, but this is what Jeremiah does, and that's what he's this is exactly what he's been trying to do. Yeah. And this guy let him do it. Well, he ain't made it better. Well, yes he yes he does. <laughs> he's a cop. These guys weren't on his property at the time that he just attacked them. Uh, I don't blame him. I listen, <laughs> regardless, he should know. 10, 12, signal 14. The victim should know if you're being recorded, it's probably going to go somewhere. And they weren't on your property when you just attacked them, they had left. That's the problem I'm having. I'm going to get out of here.
trying to detain him and arrest him. For, yes. Because I asked him to leave. I guess he saw the video. And I just didn't have cuffs on me to put on him, so I just said, all right, I'm going to pop up, and that's when I called 911. Yes, sir. So. Um, so, can you go back to the beginning? I know you said you saw him walking so he was here. They looked right on, on the corner house, pushed the cart around here. I was in my kitchen area. Mm -hmm. I threw a giant bag of trash right here in my front yard. So I came out and said, hey, guys, police, I need you to pick up the trash, and I need you to leave the neighborhood. She came over, and they gave me a bunch of, of, of lips, so that's when I, I showed my badge. And I said, guys, I'm police. I need you to get out. That's when he started filming me, and you guys picked up from there with the video. So I'd like to charge him or prosecute him at this point if he wants to make a deal, but I really just wanted him to leave the neighborhood. No. They're allowed to be walking on the public road. I mean, yeah. It's not like a gated community. Yeah, but it's, it's littering is a crime, too. I mean, yeah, I know. He's homeless, he gets his right, but... Do you have an ID on you, Shay? No, I can go get it, but I can give you my info if you want. Okay. Yeah. William, W-I-L-L-I-A-M. Thoroughgood, T-H-O-R-O-W-G-O-O-D. Oh, I'm sorry. G-O-O-D. Hey, so I guess he's going to do the report, but he went and attacked this guy when he wasn't even on his property, like threw him to, a gr to the ground and everything, and it's all on video over some trash that they threw in there in his yard but picked up they weren't in his pro on his property when he went after jeremiah at all and it, from there you see him leave his driveway and go into the street and then attack jeremiah yes all on video <sighs> yeah no he's not well, he said that he he was he, he wasn't he didn't think we should arrest for that, but Beasley. That's what I'm saying. But you might it being on video is yeah, it's a problem and. It, he shows his badge and says, I'm a cop, and everything. And he was trying to arrest him in the middle of the street. Yes. 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 Yeah. But. He told him to get his hands and put him behind his back. And Jeremiah is filming, as, as he always does. And then he comes at him, and you can literally see the scuffle on camera. The whole camera, like, starts shaking and crap. His daughter's screaming and crying, and he said he had his knee on the back of his neck. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's, I'm having a problem with this, because it's all on video, and he already hems this up enough, and it's all on video. And he wants to prosecute, and I truly, I don't blame him. I don't blame him. So call Joe Mack and I guess call Brown because if he doesn't arrest him, I'm going to have to take over and do it because I have a problem with that because he literally told us I was trying to detain him, but I didn't have cuffs on me. That's what he said. We're, that, no, you're trying to... Yeah, please. Thank you. Okay. Jeremiah. Is that your name? Mm-hmm. Detective William Thoroughgood with Metro Police. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right. I'm not trying to hurt you. Don't want to scare you. I'm really sorry for the confrontation I had in front of your child. Okay? I feel really bad about that. And I just want to apologize to you. So I am sorry for upsetting your kid, especially around the holiday season. So. Yeah, because she's never going to forget that now. And she's going to look at cops as pieces of shits because of you. You're absolutely right. I'm taking that into consideration. Apologize to you. I try to teach my kid that not all cops are bad. There are good cops, and then you come out and do shit like that. I'm trying to be a good one, so please just hear me out, okay, Jeremiah? All right, can you hear me out? I hear you. All right. 
let me just swallow my pride here and say I apologize for upsetting you and your family. Okay? Thank you. That, 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 that's good. Would you like a nugget? <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm, I'm not going to take for you guys during the holiday I'm gonna go season. I'm going to get him okay? a I try to be man enough and apologize, which is a hard thing for cops to do. Mm -hmm. And I just hope that you know, <laughs> you know you man if you're a cop or not. My apology. It's okay? hard thing I just didn't you. like the litter in my yard. That's yeah. all. That, that's all. She didn't mean to drop it, but to it really go to that crazy. extent because I pulled out my phone and asked you for your name and badge number. Really, come on now. That that, that he, he that's being. No, I, I get that. No, he's right. No, but on, that's being a tyrant. Jeremiah, listen to me. Do you not agree with that? Hey, she's 100%, you're right, and I apologize. And I want you to understand how hard it is for me to... Oh, I know how hard it is for... Guys, the only reason why he's giving me this bullshit apology is to save his ass and to keep his ass out of handcuffs at this moment. Once I got home and I watched the videos and I realized what they had did and conspired against me, yes, I went and pressed charges, and that's why he goes in front of the grand jury January the 19th at 10.45 a.m., so let's hope that this time the system actually works. I actually hope the jury proves me wrong and shows my daughter that I was wrong, that the system works. Because I keep telling my daughter it's not going to work for me. It's not going to work in our favor. It never has, never will. So literally, I hope they prove me wrong. And I hope I can look at my daughter and say I was wrong. But guys, I seriously don't think that's going to happen. But with y'all calling and enough people viewing this video, we can change it. I want to give a big thank you to SJVT, San Juan King, over 500,000 views. James Freeman, Lackluster, each video has gotten over 200,000 views in just less than a day. That's amazing. Thank you guys for making this video go viral and helping me expose this guy. And keeping my promise that I would make him famous. He's now famous. And the more people to see these videos, guys, the harder it's going to be for them to sweep this under the rug. So, everybody, please, I want y'all to go tag Audit the Audit in this video. Get him to cover this video. We need as many biggest channels there are exposing these tyrannical thugs like this. Cops like this should not be cops. He has no place as a cop. And the suck fuck thing is, guys, this guy, in two and a half weeks, he said he was quitting his job anyways, and he was going to work. He was going to be going to work at the TBI, the Tennessee Bureau of Investigations. So let's change that, guys. He don't need to go to work there. Let's make sure he never gets a job at the TBI. Oh my God, could you only imagine? Also, I want to give a huge shout out to Brian from Here's the Deal. Hi, and Pat Flicks. Love you, man. Skylar says she loves you and thanks you. I know. I'm a first amendment auditor. I know. Okay. All right. Well, that's, we need more people like you in this world. She and said you wanted to but that lady brought I'll her. extend my hand to you if you're man enough to shake it. Oh, I'm man enough to shake your hand. All right. So, I'm, is it all right I if we leave it at that, sir? Or? Yeah. yeah. I'm, at, I'm still going to post a video, though. I mean, it, that's your legal right. I'm yeah. not going to stop you from doing that. Yeah. Yes. He said, I'm not going to stop you from doing that, but he tried to by placing something into my pocket. And then as he was getting in his truck said, I really would appreciate it if you did not post that video. And it was $80. So I went home and I did the math and I was like $80 not to post a video or I'm going to make probably uh, 15, 16 times that just on the ad revenue from letting them play commercials on that video, if not more than that. So, unless he, I couldn't get a hold of him to see if he had a better offer, you know, you know, you want to throw a lot more than what I'm going to make off the ad revenue not to post it. We could have talked, but you know, it is what it is. He needed to be exposed. He's exposed. And the more people who see this video, guys, they cannot sweep it under the rug. Let's make this video viral. Thank you to all my new subscribers, everyone coming over from the other channels and supporting me and my family. Thank you. God bless you. Without people like you walking beside me, not behind me, walking beside me, 
I couldn't do what I do. So I thank each and every one of you. This is y'all's channel, not my channel. Y'all make these videos and y'all are the ones that make these videos go viral. I love you guys and until the next time, I will see you in the next video.